Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna do the real review for the Google Pixel 8 Pro. First things first, shout out to White Shoes, back in the building. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. White shoes. I love my Calm down. Now I'm gonna try to make this video as quick as I can. I do gotta catch a flight in a few hours, but I wanted to drop this before I leave. First, let me answer a few questions. Number one. You got a Google Pixel 7 Pro, should you upgrade and get the Google Pixel 8 Pro? And I'm gonna say yes. Okay, now, there's a two-part answer, yes and no. My personal opinion, yes, okay? If you're a phone demon like me, even if they just dropped a new color, you want that new color. But in all honesty, there's an old saying, you're on Earth for a good time, not a long time. Okay, upgrade your life. If you're one of these people that walk around with your phone in your hand all day, you're making money on social media, TikTok, YouTube, you know, WhatsApp, whatever you're doing, this is your business, then why not have the latest and greatest? Okay, upgrade your life. But realistically, I know everybody in that position that they could just be upgrading phones every month, every year. Okay, cool. If you're not in that position, then honestly, as far as the feel of the phone, it's not gonna be congratulations you bought the same phone twice kind of feel, but it is gonna feel very similar. But there is some nice little subtle upgrades that I would say are worth it, okay? So no, don't upgrade if you don't use AI, you don't really use the camera, okay? All you're doing is basic phone stuff, then who cares? Get a Pixel 8, right? <laughs> or stay with your 7 Pro. But if you are heavy in the phone game, okay? You like the latest and greatest tech, upgrade your life, okay? That's what life is all about. Don't stay the same, upgrade, okay? Look, on a serious note, you see what's going down in Israel and Gaza, and I ain't trying to get political, but people are dying every day, okay? People are dying every day in the USA. So why not die with the latest and greatest phone in your pocket? That's my motto, okay? That's my motto. I'm here for a good time, not a long time. When I go and everybody's rifling through all my shit, I just seen that happen when my brother passed away. Look, here's another thing. I was talking to my brother a few weeks ago about some new tech, and his motto is, uh, I'm saving up for this, I'm saving up for that, and then boom, just like that, you could be out of here. Stop saving up for a rainy day and enjoy some life. This is part of life upgrading, okay? Upgrade your life, enjoy it. So I'm gonna say yes, upgrade your phone. Ladies, now I'm not talking about y'all upgrading with BBLs, okay? <laughs> y'all gotta cut it out with them goddamn BBLs, okay? Don't upgrade that, I right, go to the gym. But upgrade your phone, have fun. Now, real quick, another question somebody asked me is, um, am I gonna do a full review for the eight? Honestly, not. Okay, what's the difference between the eight and the eight pro? The 8 Pro is a bigger phone, okay? It costs a little bit more, maybe 300 bucks. But what are you getting for that 300 bucks? The phone itself is bigger. You're getting a better display, okay? It's brighter, more knitage, more resolution, okay? You're getting more RAM, more storage options, better camera, bigger battery, faster charging speeds, and you're getting that matte silk panty finish on the back. Okay, so the eight is just a watered down version. All of my likes and dislikes are exactly the same. So no reason to do two separate videos. Now, before I get into all of my dislikes as usual, let's take a second and appreciate what Google fixed from last year. Now, right before I sat down to make this video, I watched my seven pro review and all some of my gripes, not all of them, but some of my gripes have been addressed, such as number one, the flat display. Can we take a second and appreciate Google getting rid of these curved displays? I'm so glad the curved display era is coming to an end. I seen some renders of the Galaxy S24. Hopefully Galaxy jumps on that bandwagon. We tired of the curved displays. I don't care if it's a subtle curve like this. Like I, even if it's some subtle shit like this, a little subtle curve, I'm just tired of that. So Google went ahead and gave us the flat panel displays. That's number one. Number two, I one of my gripes from last year, no pro mode on the camera. In 2023, every flagship phone should have pro mode on the camera. Apple, I'm talking to you. Next, one terabyte of storage. Now look, don't tell me about, oh, five years, six years, seven years of upgrades, guaranteed upgrades, guaranteed security patches and all that. If you don't have one terabyte of storage in four or five years, all right, if you got a 128 gig phone after two years, that gigage is full. 
Okay, so I said last year I said Google, we need a one terabyte phone if you're going to be talking about guaranteed four years. Now they're talking about seven years. All all of this stuff, all of these guaranteed years, we need one terabyte. They gave us one terabyte. I respect that. Next, one of my gripes from last year was this glossy black. <laughs> Let me say <laughs> glossy black, <laughs> glossy back, <laughs> the glossy back phones. I'm tired of the glossy back phones. Okay, now depending on what color you get, like this hazel, you're going to see less fingerprints. But if you get white or black, well, not even white, really black. If you get the black phones, they're going to look like trash on the back. Okay, you're going to have to walk around with one of these and keep wiping it down before you get your little dining photos. I didn't like the glossy backs. I said, look, and look, if you watch my videos, I, I, I specifically said in that Pixel 7 video, I said, Google, please try the matte finish on the back. And not only did they go for the matte finish on the back, they took it a step further. Okay, they went around the whole Google, Google office. All of the ladies, they asked for their silk panties, put them in a room. Somebody, in, I want that job. Somebody was in Google's headquarters, feeling all the silk panties and transferred it right to the back of this phone. This is the best feeling phone. Okay, as far as the feel of a phone, you know, each phone has a different feel. If you're using a Xiaomi phone with that vegan leather on the back, it kind of has that luxurious feel to it. Okay, even the Galaxies with the frosted glass on the back, it has that, mm, has a nice, a nice, mm, I don't a nice je ne sais quoi on the back. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But this right here, the satin feel on the back, this is gonna make you not wanna use a case. I guarantee it. So I said, Google, please give us a matte back, and they did it. Next, I said, Google, we need a signature feature. You see how Galaxy sign got signature features? Bluetooth S Pen, okay, Samsung Dex, Xiaomi phones have a signature feature, IR Blaster, thought protection, okay? A lot of phones have a signature feature, something that no other phone ain't really doing. Google phones, I said, bring back a signature feature. Remember when they used to have the squeeze? I think that was the Pixel 4, maybe the 3. I forgot which Pixel, but remember you had the little squeezeology, I used to call it? Bring back a signature feature, and this time, now we got the thermostat. <laughs> Say, now look, we're going to talk about the thermostat in a minute. <sighs> I hate to use that word gimmicky because something is only a gimmick if you don't use it, okay? If somebody's using it every day, it ain't a gimmick for them. Okay, so I'm not gonna call it gimmicky because um <laughs> but it's just a it's just a fun signature feature, conversation starter. Okay, that's what a lot of this tech is all about. Starting conversations when you get in your phone wars with your little uh, Apple Mafia hitmen. You, you know, you blow out a thermostat. Uh, this is a, a nice little fun feature, okay? And speaking of fun feature, my one of my last gripes that I had last year was the Pixel 7 Pro. It's a hardcore work phone, but it's kind of boring. It's kind of boring. And they fixed that with AI. Now the AI on this phone is so crazy. It's it's way too much to talk about in one video. I'll just talk, talk about the things that I actually use and that I actually like. But if you take a lot of photos, it's a lot of AI in the photos that turns this into a really fun phone. Okay? So shout out to Google for actually watching my videos <laughs> and taking notes. Now I'm getting ready to get shadow banned after this part of the video, but it is what it is. Now let's talk about everything that I don't like. Number one, the price, 1,000 bucks, that's TGH for 128 gigs. Now last year, the phone was 900 bucks. Okay, cool. I don't understand why they try to raise the price an extra 100 bucks. I mean, come on. And 128 gigs in 2023, look, for flagship phones, nah, that ain't happening. If you're buying a mid-range phone or a budget phone, a little burner phone, throwaway phone, a little trap phone, 128 gigs is plenty. But if you're buying a phone that you plan on keeping for two, three years, and especially with these kind of phones that you're getting all the upgrades anyway, you know, actually you're getting all the software updates guaranteed, 128 gigs ain't enough, all right, ain't enough. Oh, and I just thought about one more thing. Why, if, when I, at the beginning of the video, when I said, should you upgrade from the seven, all right, to the eight, you gotta remember, if you got a Pixel 7 Pro, you're gonna have Android 14 before everybody with the Galaxy phones, before everybody with the Xiaomi phones and the Oppo phones. So that's another reason that it's not really, you know, too important to upgrade your phone if you got a Pixel. Because if you got a Pixel, you guaranteed the latest Android features. Okay, so that's one thing. Now let's get back to my dislikes. So 1,000 bucks for, uh, for 128 gigs, that's trash. And 1,400 bucks for one terabyte, 
Whatever y'all smoking over there at Google, <laughs> pass that shit over here. I'm trying to get hot too. All right, 1,400 bucks. Now nah, that's out of the question. It should have been 900 bucks. I would have said, give me, okay, 1,200 bucks for one terabyte. That seems about right. But it should be 900 bucks for 128 and 1,000 bucks for 256. Even Apple is like, okay, you know, that's enough with the flagship phones with 128 gigs. Once Apple does something, <laughs> if Apple is admitting to doing it, then you know. All right, then you know. Now, one of my lights just went off back here. <laughs> kind of scared the shit out of me. I'm looking around like, hold on, who that? All right, my bad. I, just, I think I just kicked the plug. But y'all can still see. All right, so the price uh, is a little TGH, but it is what it is. Next, let's talk about the presentation. Now, that's how, that's why I just kicked, kicked the phone. The presentation, okay? The price wouldn't be that bad if you're gonna spend a thousand bucks on a phone and you get in the case, you get in the charger, you get in the plug. 1,000 bucks for this. This presentation is basically <laughs> trash. It's basically trash. Google is just like, look, man, buy off. Buy, I, I hate to say it like this, but Google is like, buy my shit. I just buy my shit and keep it moving. You ever went in somebody's store and you're buying something and they, and you know, they're not giving you that friendly customer service. They like, look, man, just buy my merch, buy my product and get the fuck out of here. That's what Google is doing. They basically like, buy this phone and get the fuck out of here. Look at companies like OnePlus. I, now I just did this phone a couple of days ago. You seen this presentation inside, okay? Now look, look, look how the box slides open. You know, makes you feel like you're getting. You, it makes you feel like you're getting something for your money. Not to mention with the One Plus, they threw a, the charger in the box. They threw a case in the box. Some One Plus troll stickers. This is what I like to see, okay? Now, I know I sound like a broken record. I keep repeating the same shit over and over, but until they change this kind of stuff, us as consumers, because that's why I'm calling this a real review, because this phone Google gave me for free, but this one I bought myself. So I'm a real consumer, just like y'all. I spend my money on these phones. When you spend your money on products, you shouldn't have to buy another case. All right, look, think about it like this. Imagine if you just bought a one terabyte Google Pixel 8 Pro for 1400 bucks, all right, you up in Verizon, you got it all set up, you're walking out the door and you, you know, you're putting the phone in your pocket and it slips out and falls on the ground and cracks the day you just bought it. Why don't they just throw a little gel skin case like this? It don't gotta be, I'm not saying you gotta throw in a UAG Monarch, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You ain't gotta throw in the Kevlar edition case, but throw a little gel skin case in the box, okay? You advertising 30 watt fast charging, throw a 30 watt fast charging brick in the box. Throw the dongle in the box. People still use headphones. All right, people still use wired headphones. Stop talking about 24-bit audio and not giving us the dongle. So the presentation, I would say it's trash, okay? But we, we need, they need Google, Samsung, Apple, Sony. Y'all need to stop with this bullshit and I ain't gonna stop calling y'all out until y'all do, okay? Put the charger in the box, put the case in the box. The dongle is optional. Troll stick is optional. Okay, but at least give us a presentation. Make us feel like you appreciate that 1,000 bucks that we just dropped. Next. Now, this is the, we get into my real dislikes here. Face unlock. Okay, now, I was at the beginning of the video when I said, okay, can we take a second and appreciate the things Google fixed? You notice I didn't mention the fingerprint sensor and face unlock because they're still not that great. Now, the fingerprint sensor, I would say it's good. Okay, it's good. If I had to rank the fingerprint sensor on a scale of one to 10, I'd give it, I'd give it a seven, okay? Now, the thing is, when you get used to using other phones like Xiaomi phones, Oppo phones, okay? The Xi Jinping exclusive phones, you know, the Chinese phones, for some reason, the biometrics be crazy. Now, I know what y'all gonna say. Don't even, <laughs> don't say it, all right? Don't say how we know they still in the information. I don't care, I don't care, I know, I know, I know. But let's talk about face unlock. Okay, now we're talking about Google is hyping up the level three biometric face unlock and all of that. Man, listen, all right, I don't work for the secret service, okay? I'm not a secret agent. I don't need level three face unlock. I want level one face unlock that works in the evenings. Now look, right now, let's see. Let me, let me, let me make sure this is working, let's see. Okay, look, right now, I'm in the optimum conditions, so my face unlock is gonna work. But the face unlock, and hit me up in the comments and let me know if y'all agree or disagree, all right? And don't be a Google fanboy, all right? Shout out to the Google gangsters, stand down, okay? Don't be a fanboy, keep it real. The face unlock at night, in the daytime, no, no, no issues, okay? No issues, even with my glasses on, glasses off, no issues. 
But at nighttime, when it's dark, you laying in your bed and the only light you got on is from the TV, the face unlock is unusable. Now, I wouldn't be griping if every face unlock was like that, but anybody who has an iPhone knows you could basically unlock that in the dark with no lights on. Same thing with the Xiaomi phones, Samsung, not as great. Samsung is a little, a little tier below Xiaomi and Oppo and Realme and Redmi and OnePlus, Vivo, all of those companies, the face unlock works with minimum lighting. This phone right here, I hate when I'm in the bed and I pull out my phone and I go like this. I just want to check something and I look at it and you just keep, you just see that little circle right there. You just see that little circle not catching your face. I don't like that. I don't like that. Okay, so the face unlock, it should work better. In 2023 for a thousand bucks, it should be top of the line face unlock. Okay, miss me with the level three biometric bullshit. I want level one minimum security, maximum convenience. Okay, so the face unlock, it did get a little bit better, but it's still semi-trash, especially at nighttime. In the daytime, even in the daytime, let me let me rant a little bit more. Even in the daytime, sometimes I notice it's a little bit spotty, and the same thing with the fingerprint sensor. I notice sometimes I got to press it twice. Now, of course, since I'm making a YouTube video, it's going to work. <laughs> I Google, Google sent out the, a quick update to make sure it works in their video, but in real life, a lot of times, I'll press it once and it won't pop open and I gotta press it twice. Now right now it looks for, it looks fine, but there's nothing more annoying than when you go like this with your phone and you press it and it doesn't open. There's nothing more annoying than that. All right, there's nothing on this planet more annoying than that. All right, so the biometrics, man, I said this before, I'm gonna say it again. Whoever Google has working in the biometrics department, I don't want anybody to get fired, okay? I don't wish anybody to be out of work. People gotta make a living, but transfer them to a different department. Whoever y'all got working in the silk panty department, bring them over to the biometrics department because they know what they're doing. With the build quality, whoever that guy is who, who designed this, he knows what he's doing. He needs a raise. He needs to go to the biometrics department. And if he, he don't know how to do it, okay? If he don't know how to do it, call up Xi Jinping. I got his number if y'all need it. Okay, ask them who's making them for Oppo and Vivo and OnePlus because face unlock in 2023 should be just like that. It should be iPhone status, okay? You should never have to do it twice. Next, now let's talk about the battery. The battery on this phone, now when I did my unboxing, I was looking for adaptive battery. It is in the settings, but under Android 14, they kind of moved it around, but it's on by default. So it was on, even though I couldn't find it, it was, or it was definitely on. And that's another reason why I kind of waited a little bit, uh, a little bit, a few extra days to make this video, because with Pixel phones, it usually takes a good week, a good solid week of using your phone every day before you can notice that adaptive battery actually kicking in. And I'm gonna keep it real with y'all, it did kick in, but this phone has 2400 nits brightness, okay? And that's one of their selling points. So you're gonna wanna take advantage of this big, juicy, bright display. I would say get rid of the five, the 5050 milliamp battery. Let's do a 7,000 milliamp battery. Now, look, something like this. You see, do something like this. Like what Asus is doing. Asus is like, look, man, everybody don't care about having the thinnest and lightest phone. I'd rather have my phone have a little bit of extra weight and more battery, okay, than having it thinner and having to keep looking for charges halfway through the day. Now, if you don't use your phone like me, y'all know I'm max brightness, max notifications, max everything. The battery life on this, even after adaptive battery, it's good, but it's not great. It's definitely not great. And like I said, you see, my opinions be coming from a, a place of being spoiled from other phones. Now, when you use other phones and you start using a phone like this that I've never even seen the battery on 10%, I've never even seen that. You know what I'm saying? Like, and this, so I use the phone all day long. By the time I throw it in the charge at night, it's on 30%, 40%. You know, when you get spoiled, using Realme phones and Redmi phones with fast f fingerprint sensors and fast face unlocks, it's gonna make you, it's gonna make you a little bit more, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> it's gonna make you criticize these other phones a little bit more. Maybe a little bit more than they deserve, but it is what it is. So like I said, battery life is subjective. Everybody's gonna have different. I know some people are gonna say, oh, my pixel lasts me all day long. Are you getting 3000 emails a day? Okay, do you have max brightness on? Are you, when you post a photo on Instagram, are you getting a thousand and one comments? It depends, some people are gonna have different, you know, different usage. In my usage, I would say the battery's pretty good, but I'd like to see a bigger battery, okay? With the extra weight, I don't mind. Okay, battery life could be better. Next, speaking of battery life, charging speeds. 
30 watt fast charge, that's kind of fast, but in 2023, that's not fast charge, okay? This phone takes about an hour and 20 minutes to fully charge up. In contrast, okay, I could pull out a Xiaomi phone right now that charges from zero to 100% with the same size battery in 19 minutes. Let that sink in for a second. What's the difference between 19 minutes and an hour and a half almost? <laughs> okay, now most ladies be taking a long time to get ready. Okay, I, I understand that. But fellas, it doesn't really take us an hour to get ready to go somewhere. Right, you wanna go out somewhere, if somebody call me right now like, yo, you wanna do something? I'll be like, yeah, give me 30 minutes, I'm ready to go. So if you just call me, in 30 minutes, I can be ready to go. And in that 30 minutes, I could be walking out the door with a fully charged phone. Not with this phone, though. In 30 minutes, you're gonna get around 50%, maybe, maybe less, okay? And that ain't enough for a phone that doesn't have a giant battery, okay? That ain't enough for me. All right, so I would like to see some faster charging speeds. Next, now I'm gonna need some props for this one. <laughs> now this is, one of my, this is one of my silly, silly gripes, but I read all of the comments on my channel. Some of y'all don't like this either. I hate the power button on the top. I literally hate that. I hate it. Now look, this is, a, this is just my opinion. You might like it better right there, but let me show you something. Here we go again, okay? Look at the, look at look at all of these flagships. Okay, so we got Vivo, we got Honor Magic Five, Galaxy S twenty three, we got Sony, we got Xiaomi and Apple. Look at the sides of these phones. <laughs> look at the sides of these phones. <laughs> power button, power button, power button, power button, power button, power button. Okay, now Apple did it right. Power button and volume buttons on different sides. I like that. That would be my optimum placement. I, Apple is doing it like that too. A few Android phones are doing it like that. But I hate having the power button on the top. Everybody can't be wrong. Okay, I know somebody's gonna say, oh, the power button feels better like that. Everybody can't be wrong. Okay, all of these manufacturers can't be wrong. Hold up, let's see. What about Asus? Asus is doing it right. See, power button on the bottom. Nobody's putting the power button on the top, except for Google. Okay, I don't understand that, and I don't like that. Every, I, I keep going in my pocket, especially if you like me, you know, use more than one phone during the day. It's, it's hard to get, oh, let me not blast nobody. It's hard to get used to, I, I keep going like this. When I hit the power button, I keep hitting volume instead. And if you're gonna do both buttons on, same, on the same side, at least put some ridges. Okay, Google, put some ridges in the power button, some texture or something so you can feel the difference in your pocket, I, I activated Google. Put something so, you, so we can feel the difference. Anyway, all right, so I don't like the power button on the top. Next, let's talk about customization. Now, this is another thing I don't like. I don't like the lack of customization. Now, I just noticed with this case, you see this case does add the ridges. That's why, I, and this is one of those phones that I don't like to use a case, but this is one of the reasons why I'm actually rocking the case. I like having a little ridge right there. But let's talk about customization. This is supposed to be the king of Android phones, Android is supposed to be all about customization. Now, if you're an old school Android user like me, y'all remember back in the days, the old school Android versus iPhone wars? That's what it was all about. Oh, you could customize your phone. So you should be able to customize your always on display even more. Not, not like this one. Let me see, what do I got right here? Here's another always on display from Samsung. You see that? The animated always on displays. You should be able to have a picture of your cat, maybe a picture of your daughter, you know, whatever you want, your son, your girl, your man, your fish. All right, maybe you got a goldfish. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got a goldfish named Finn. You know what I'm saying? You might want to have Finn's picture as your always on display. You might want to have shoes picture. So I don't like the fact that you can't customize the always on display. I don't like how the notifications come up so small and tiny, no different colors. Now, if you got your phone on a wireless charger like this all the way across the room, you ain't gonna see those little notifications like that. And then even if you could see them, they all white. I like how Samsung and uh, Xiaomi and a few other companies, OnePlus, have the notifications big, bright in the middle, different colors. So I can look from across the room and I can see if I got Gmails. I can see if I got text messages or phone calls. Okay, so the lack of customization, I don't like that. And you, you seen the finger presenter twice? I hate that, I hate that. I hate that I can't move the Google bar from the bottom. I don't need the Google bar on every screen. And I hate that you can't move this from the top. I wanna to put the Google bar on the top and then have my fancy weather widget underneath. I don't need this at a glance shit. Now, of course, you can download Nova Launcher or a, a second, uh, second uh, aftermarket uh, launcher and customize it up the wazoo. But this is a Pixel phone. You want that stock Pixel experience 
okay? You shouldn't have to have a third-party app just to move your Google bar, okay? It should be fully customizable. Next. Now, this is kind of petty. No 8K video. I wouldn't even gripe about it if it was a mid-range phone. But nowadays, look, here's, here's, here's my motto, okay? For flagship phones, even if it's something that you don't think that you're going to use, you're paying for it. Okay, other companies are giving it away for free. You should be having it too. If you're a Google gangster, hardcore on Google's nuts, you should be demanding Google to give you 8K video. Okay, you see other companies, even OnePlus, drop an IR blasters, give us an IR blaster. Whatever everybody else is doing, we should be doing it too. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm one of the Google gangsters too. You know, I, I love Google phones, but I, I would like to see the same things that other people have on their phones. 8K video. Now, for me, that ain't the biggest deal, but you might be a cinematographer. All right? You might be trying to be on some Martin Scorsese shit, making your little films and videos and all of that. 8K video. Tech is moving forward. All right? Tech is moving forward. Video production is going up. Not in my case. My case, video production is going down. You know what I'm, I'm still rocking 1080p, bro. It is what it is. But I got to mention that because I try to make these reviews for everybody. Okay? So some of y'all going to want 8K video. If you don't care about that, then just disregard it. Now, of course, they do call me Petty Roosevelt, so I do have some petty gripes. Let's talk about those real quick. Color choices. I think every phone that comes out should come out in a minimum of four color choices. Now, I do love this blue, okay? The hazel looks nice. The rose is nice option also, but I wish they would have came out. The porcelain is dope too, the porcelain, but I wish they would have came out with that sunny orange from last year or from the six, that sunny orange. That was pretty dope. But the point I'm trying to make is it should be minimum four colors to choose from. This way, the, the likelihood of when you go somewhere and you got your phone on the table, all of y'all got the same color phone, you know what I'm saying? All of y'all got the same home screen. You know, I like to be different and unique. I would like to see more color choices, minimum four every year. Don't be lazy, Google. Next, I would like to see a feature like Samsung DeX, a feature that you can wirelessly stream your phone and have that desktop experience. A lot of phones are starting to catch up. Motorola's doing it. Xiaomi is starting to do it, okay, with the MIUI 14. A lot of companies are starting to catch up with Samsung DeX. All right, Samsung DeX is not about to be an exclusive Samsung feature anymore. Google, jump on the bandwagon, okay, jump on the bandwagon. Next, I would like to see Google bring back the squeeze, all right? That was a nice little feature because when you want to, you know, do your, your scumbag photos, you just squeeze the phone and have it take you right to the camera, squeeze it again and take a photo. That was a dope feature, okay? I would like to see that too. I would like to see an IR blaster. If you're going to give us a gimmicky feature like a thermostat, <laughs> a gimmicky feature like a thermostat, which I would say 75% of people ain't going to use, but I guarantee you more percentage of people will use an IR blaster because everybody got a TV. Everybody's going to go somewhere where they, there's a TV involved. Everybody's at some point, you're going to be in a hotel, you're going to be in a resort, you're going to be somewhere. And this is from my personal experience. I don't travel without a phone that doesn't have an IR blaster. You know, one of the biggest things is when you go to that hotel and you, you just came off a long flight and you jump on the bed, and you're like, okay, cool, I'm watch TV. And you hit that remote and somebody stole the batteries out of the remote or the remote batteries uh, don't work. That, that That's going to increase your anger level by about 30%. So if you're going to give me a gimmicky feature like, you know, thermostat, Give us an IR blaster. Why not? Let me get the IR blaster. You know, and 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 and, and, that, and I would like to see one more feature too. Now, let me this right here. You see, hold on, let me pull this out. Oh, I got I got it right here. I would like to see MagSafe built into Android phones. Now, this is not just for Google. This is for Samsung. This is for Oppo, Xiaomi, iPhones. I right, shout out to the Apple Mafia. iPhones been stealing stuff from Android phones for years. Now, we're not going to get into a big debate. Y'all know what I'm talking about, okay? Always on display, wireless charge. You know, I, I could run through a whole list of things that Android phones had first, and then iPhones jumped on the bandwagon. Why we can't do the same? Why we can't jump on the same bandwagon, take something from Apple? Because believe it or not, MagSafe on the iPhones, this is one of the best things since pants with pockets, okay? MagSafe on your phone, this way you don't need a case. If you got your MagSafe compatible charger in your car, you don't need a case, or the, no, you can switch cases every day. Even if your case doesn't have MagSafe, pull the case off, drop it in your car. Okay, so Sam, uh, Samsung, Google, Apple, <laughs> let me get that straight. Google, you don't gotta call it MagSafe, okay? You, don't, you, don't, you, don't, you, you ain't gotta steal it that much. Call it MagnaLock, all right? It doesn't even have to be a circle. It could be a square. 
but just give us the option to have magnetic accessories attached right to the back of the phone without having to add a little sticker like this or without having to buy an expensive case that has a MagSafe ring in it. Now, with that being said, let's talk about everything that I do like right after this quick commercial break. All right, so now let's talk about everything that I do like. Number one, the build quality. And this is probably one of my favorite things about this phone. I'm gonna say it again. Feels so good in the hands. Ladies, you know the procedures. The feeling of this phone, all the way from the cold aluminum or stainless steel. Some people saying stainless steel, some people saying aluminum. I don't know what it is, but whatever it is, it feels ice cold, it feels heavy, it feels premium. But the back of the phone, it just feels so silky and smooth. I love the look. Some people don't like this kind of visor look on the back, but I like it because it's different. I, I, and plus, not to mention, let me see, I got one right here. I like this. I like this way better than this, okay? This on the back of this phone, this is a lot going on here. I'll take this over this any day, okay? It just looks clean and neat. I like how they got rid of that separation, so now it's just one black in the middle. The build quality in this, Gorilla Glass Victus 2 for protection. It is IP68, dust and water resistant. I love it, okay, I love it. And that's one of the reasons I would, personally, I would upgrade just for the build quality alone. Okay, if I went to the store and I held this in my hand, I'm walking out with this one, okay? The build quality in this phone is amazing. Next, let's talk about biometrics. Now, I do have a love-hate relationship with the biometrics because when they work, they work, but sometimes they don't. But right now in the optimum conditions, they do work. Like, I, I don't wanna be too hard on it, I don't want to be too hard on it, but it, it you see, it is some timey. It is some timey, more timey than less timey, but still some timey, <laughs> if that makes sense. Face unlock, again, I already went through that. Biometrics and is what it is. Always on display. Now, I do like how the weather does have color, but if you could put color on the weather, why not color in the notifications? This is a little, this is the kind of little shit right here that makes me mad. If you, if you know how to put color in the weather, then why not change the color for your notifications? It is what it is. Anyway, let's talk about the display. Now, 2400 nits brightness, if you a max brightness demon like me, you want your phones to be brighter and brighter and brighter, this right here, this is one of the brightest phones that I ever used, and the display just looks incredible. Now, of course, it is LTPO, so you're gonna get that variable refresh rate. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let me, I, you know, look, I, I don't be talking about a lot of tech shit, but don't think I don't know it. I don't think I don't know it. I just don't be talking about it, but I know what it means, all right? But the display is just phenomenal. This is max brightness right now. You're going to love it. Right? You're going to love, you know, especially when you get to my age and you're walking around looking like a four-eyed fuck with glasses on, you're going to want a brighter display. Now, y'all young bastards, I, I know I'll be hating on young people now. Yeah, you, you know, hold up, quick side note. You remember when you was young, you'd be like, yo, Oh man, fuck these old people, like, they don't know shit. And then when you start getting older, you're like, man, fuck these young people, they don't know shit. Nobody don't know shit. <laughs> it's, it, it's funny how, how, how life goes here. Yeah. But anyway, now that I'm getting older, I do appreciate the brighter displays. And this, this phone right here, I'm telling you, this is one of those phones that you're not gonna have a problem reading your text messages in broad daylight. Right, you could be sitting right underneath the sun. <laughs> The sun on Earth. I mean, I don't mean not in space underneath the sun. You could be in Earth under the sun, and you're gonna see this display. <laughs> I'll be cracking myself up. Anyway, I right, saw so the display. 2400 nits brightness, maximum nitage. I love it. Next, let's talk about the processor. All right. Let's uh, let's try something real quick. Go to Apple.com. Let's take a look at some of these peasant phones real quick. Now here's your. Processing now. This is the Tensor G3. I right, Google Tensor G3. Silky smooth. I haven't had any issues with it. Now, some people saying that it tends to overheat whilst gaming, but I'm not a big phone gamer. I haven't had any heat issues with this. I right, not like these hot ass iPhones. <laughs> this phone is nice and cool. But um, yeah, processor speeds. Let's let's do a little split screen multitasking. Let's see what we got on deck. Um, let's do. Let's see. Matter of fact, let's open up something else. Let's do Facebook, and then we'll do split screen, Apple on the bottom, okay? 
What was I doing on Facebook? Oh, did I even give it a chance to open? I, I didn't even log in. Oh, I'm on the wrong phone. I'm like, yo, hold up. All right, let's do that again. All right, let's go to Facebook. Yeah, I'm on the wrong phone. Look, see, this is one year ago, almost today. One year ago, almost today. Let's do a little split screen. Let's see what we got on the bottom. All right, <laughs> All right let's, <laughs> what was I looking at? All right, let's, um, I don't want to put nobody on blast. I got photos on the bottom. All right, now we're going to talk about these photos My in a minute. Hugs and all right. sound box portable speaker. So I've been looking for a port split screen multitasking. Basically what I'm trying to say, the processing speed, you're not going to have any issues. Now I don't want to start talking about Geekbench, you know, and um all of these thermal throt throttling speeds and all that. I'm trying to give you my opinion as using the phone in the real world, just doing your regular stuff on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram all day, shopping, split screen multitasking. The processing speeds are there. You're gonna, you're gonna love it. It's gonna feel flagship. Right, it's not gonna be like, you're not gonna be using it like, yo, this phone is laggy and slow. No, it's nice and smooth. All of the animations. I love the power on and off animation. You know, these are things that you used to have to root your phone to get. You see like when you open it up, you see how it kind of like comes alive. I like that. Now, if you want to, you can go to developer options and speed that up. If you, you know, if you think it's kind of slow. And this is another thing I want to talk about real quick. A lot of my dudes in the Apple Mafia, they always be like, "Oh, that Android phone is laggy." That's not lag. That's animations. I right? yeah. Some of y'all don't know the difference between animations and lag. All right? Animations are not lag. It's just these are just the animations. You can make them fast if you want. You see, when you do the face unlock, you get the poof. I like that. Okay, so the processing speed, no problems at all. Shoes, I'm about to file you to the side in, in 36 seconds. All right, let, let, let's, let's talk about the speakers. Let me go to the library. Now, I really got to speed this up. Let's do a little sound test for the speakers. Yo, sound test, type of sound test. Here this is max volume. Shut your mouth, type of sound test. Nice and loud. Test that quality of sound test. How's the sound floss? How's the sound floss? How's this sound? How's this sound? Excellent sound. Does it sound big? Does it sound loud? How's the bass, baby? How's the treble on it? If you don't do the wave, you ain't barking. Look, let's cover the bottom. This is just the top. All right, even the top is nice and loud. This is the bottom. Excellent sounding speakers. Hold up, let me get my little mini concert. Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Rabier. Now, one quick side note. I was just um, going through my comments, and somebody was like, yo, bro, I'm tired of the sound test. Every time it comes on, I got to fast forward it. So fast forward it and shut the fuck up, all right? And, unless you're going to make me a personal sound test that's better than this one, all right? Let me do my thing, all right? This is what I, this is what I got right now. To, oh, it's time for Mark to make you a new one. That man is on tour right now. He's touring the country right now. He ain't got time to be making more sound test videos for me. I already got a classic sound test video. I'm going to keep using it. Right? If you don't like it, it is what it is. Right? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm, I, I'm accepting all sound tests. Right? If you're a DJ, if you're an artist, and you make music, make me a personal sound test, and I'll use it in my videos. Make sure you say my name, say White Shoes' name, and we good. I'll use it in the video. If not, shut the fuck up. All right, now let's take a look at the display in action. Remember, 2400 nits brightness. Check this out. Basically bezel-less, okay? Little punch hole for your camera. Excellent viewing angles. But again, the speakers and the brightness, I love it. If you're into watching media, look how this is gonna look. Look at that. They did a great job with this display and speakers. I'm gonna keep it real. I love how it's so bright. When you move it, the viewing angles don't change. That's pretty epic. You notice some, some phones, when I go like this, you immediately see my reflection in the table. That's viewing angles. Some phones, you gotta look just like this. Otherwise, as soon as you move the phone a little, it disappears. Not with this phone. Beautiful. Let's keep it moving. 
All right, so now let's talk about the camera. And this is one of the best things about this phone, not just the AI software, the actual point and shoot camera. Now they did add pro mode, but you don't even need to use that if you don't want to. It's still a Google Pixel. And when you hear the words Google Pixel, the first thing you think of is camera, point and shoot. And the, look at this, the point and shoot photos, bro, amazing. Okay, so you got action pan. All right, so if you wanna do your little uh, <laughs> cinematography shots here, it's gonna look real nice. You got long exposure, portrait mode. The portrait mode on the pixels with the AI software after you take the shots. I'm going to show you some of those in a minute. Crazy. Some of the best portrait shots that I've seen. You got photos. Okay, you got wide angle. All the way up to 30 times zoom. I think we went through this already. You got night shot. The night, the night photos do come out great. And you got panorama. Now, I want y'all to take a look at these test pictures and videos for yourself, and then when I come back, I'm gonna show you some of these AI camera features. Now, let me show you some of these crazy AI features. And the first one is called Best Take. Now, I couldn't really test it out because I don't have enough friends, but I'm gonna take it over to Instagram. And this is one of my good friends, Tim, AKA QBKing77. We go back a long time, since the rooting phone days. Check this out.
Pixel 8 Pro's camera has a crazy feature called best take, and this is especially useful when you're in a group shot. So if you take multiple pictures, Look at what this. it's going to do is take, find the faces, and give you the option to change the face, change the facial expression of the specific people you'd like to. So maybe someone didn't smile, maybe someone's eyes were closed, maybe Look you at want that. someone to make just a more silly face. It's so useful. It actually makes more sense now to take Look at this, multiple pictures of of people when they're in groups. This is something I could see myself using all the time. Now look, uh, uh, shout out to my man, <laughs> my man Tim and that black motherfucker <laughs> and a bong. Dude, these are two of my guys. I'll post some pictures right now. <laughs> Those are two of my guys in real life, so I'm allowed to crack my little jokes. You know, that feature, this is why I'm saying that this is gonna be a fun phone. You can actually have fun with this phone now. Let me show you another one. All right, now look, now personally, I couldn't really, I couldn't really use it too much, but look at this picture, right? I took this picture in the car, right? Now this is me outside, you know, you know how I do it, you know how I give it up. All right, let's go to edit, right? Let's go to edit. Check this out. Now, it's a full edit and suite. I don't have to go through all of that, but you got the little magic editor right here. So when you click the magic editor, watch this. All right, now I can delete stuff or whatever, but I can just, I wanna do some different portrait shots. So basically it's gonna generate a bunch of different portrait shots. So if you see the stars on the roof of my car, keep your eye on them. All right, watch this. Now, it takes a second to generate. All right, and you know. Now, look at this. You see, now look at that. Now, that's a, that's a kind of a dope photo right there. You see, now, this one, it blurred out the stars even more. This one, you can see some different skin tones. And if you want to, get a new set of results. Now, that's pretty dope. That's pretty dope right here. I like it. I like that. And there's another picture that I took. Let me show you something else. Watch this one. Hold on. Let me let me exit out. Let me go to my uh, library. Hold on. Let me see that. I'll be I'll be taking some scumbag shots. Hold up. All right, this photo right here. Now this is me right. Here. <laughs> this is me trying. This is me trying to look cool, right? So now if you go to edit. Now this is not a portrait mode shot. This is a regular shot. Now if you go to edit. And this is the thing that I use it for the most: changing regular shots into portrait shots. You see that, like, kind of like old, you know, I can do dynamic if I want. You see how bright it got? But if I want to, I can change it into a portrait mode shot. Now, this wasn't shot as a portrait shot. But look at that. You, do you see the difference now? Bro, that one came out sick. That one came out sick. So let's, let, let's try. Let's see what Google suggests. All right, let's do the magic. Now, if I want to, I could just erase some stuff out the back. But let's, 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 let's try the magic portraits and see which one comes out best. Because you're going to get different levels of bokeh effect. It just takes a second to generate. Okay, now this one got a little bit blurry. This one is maximum blur on it. Okay, this one looks about the same. Or you could get more. Now, now I'm not going to go through all of these AI features. Y'all already seen me do the magic eraser. I'll do, I'll, matter of fact, what, let's do a quick magic eraser. Why not? Let's do a quick magic eraser. Because it's fun. That's what I'm saying. This was all about fun. Now, say you were smoking a blunt, right? And you had a little, <laughs> a little roach on the table, and you're trying to get your little photo right here. And you take that shot, bong, right? Let's let's do it without the flash. Let's um do no flash, okay? Take a little shot, bong, just like that. Now, from this photo, I'm like, oh shit, I got the blunt in the photo. I don't need that. Let's go to edit. All right, let's go to tools. Let's go to Magic Eraser. Okay, now it's gonna actually find suggestions for you. Or you could do it manually. So we'll just circle this right there. Bang, disappears. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now, I actually did, did this with, pe with people. You could camouflage it if you want. A lot of fun AI features, okay? A lot of fun AI features, but that's not even my favorite AI feature. I would say my favorite feature on this phone, now, we don't have to, you, this is not going to be a Google commercial, okay? Because we already know about the calling the 1-800 numbers and letting Google, you know, see the different choices. I don't really call too many 1-800 numbers these days, so that ain't really a big thing for me. Call screening is pretty nice. Okay, that's, 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 that's I, don't, I don't really get too many calls, though, but call screening is pretty nice. But my favorite feature is this. Watch this. Now, let's see if it'll actually work while I'm right here, because I got so many products down here. But I like to have my phone on the table just like this. And I'll be like, okay, Google. Send a text to Flossie Carter. Got it. What's the message? 
Call me back, you fat fuck. I'm trying to go out tonight. You ain't picking up the phone. Let me know what's up. Send. I got. Call me back, you fat f I'm trying to go out tonight. You ain't picking up the phone. Let me know. What's up? Ready to send it? Yes. You see that? Just like that. And and not only did it send, but the correct pronunciation, I mean, c the correct punctuation, okay, the correct punctuation, all of the curses, everything. I love the Google speech to text. It is the best. And not to mention, it's, it's, it's even better for work. And this is why, this is my work phone. Let me pull up, Um, let's see. All right, so say I'm going through my work emails, right? Oh, yeah, some clinical trials. They're trying to get me involved in some clinical trials. All right, cool. Now, when I'm doing my work stuff, I can say something like this. Uh, no, thanks. I'm not down with the clinical trials. Now, hold up. Let, 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 me, let me do that again. Let me do that again. Because I, I, I got I to gotta remember, when I'm doing this, I got to talk regular. Let me, let, me, let me talk regular. All right, watch this. Let me do, let me do that again. All right, let me delete that draft. That. <laughs> All right, we'll delete that. No thanks. I'm not down with the clinical trials. You see, like, <laughs> my voice, my voice, I, I gotta remember, when I'm doing my emails from work, I gotta remember to just talk with my regular voice. Certain words that I say, it, it will come out funny, but other words that I say, it picks it up exactly. Send. And the best part about it for me is the being the 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 fact that you could just say send and send it. So this way, when I got my phone on the table like this, because usually I got it like this. As it said, it said critical trials. I meant to say clinical, but you know that's 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 me with this stupid ass New York accent. But I, I like to have my phone on the table like this when I'm doing my emails, and when an email pops up. I'm used to this already. I just talk regular, and I don't really be saying too much different stuff. I really be having short messages, but a lot of short messages. And being able to just say send and send it, same thing with the text messages, I love that. So it's a lot of AI features on this phone that you're really gonna like. I would say the first thing you wanna do when you get your phone, I did this in my unboxing, when you get your Pixel, all right, because nobody's gonna cover all of this in their video. Make sure you go to tips, okay, go to tips, and hit explore. There's no, nobody's gonna go through every one of these features, okay? But hit explore and go through all of these features. Get the most out of your phone because a lot of these features, some people are gonna say gimmicky, but some of these features you're gonna be like, oh shit, maybe at work you always call them 1-800 numbers and you always gotta sit through menus. That might be a dope feature for you. Okay, so make sure you go through your tips and tricks and learn this phone. All right, so now let's talk about Google's latest feature, the thermometer. Now, how useful is this gonna be to you in your life? I don't know, all right, when they get it medically grade <laughs> clearance, where you can actually tell a person's temperature, that's gonna be a whole nother story. But let's just check these actual devices. Okay, so we got 67. Okay, 68. Let's try this one. 71. 73, it's not too bad, let's try shoes. My shoes looking like 73, 72. Let's see. 72. It, it, look, I, I don't know. 60, let's see, 66. Let's see, 71 right now, 70. Let's try that one more time. Okay, still, still says 66. All right, 68. 68. It said 68, 69. Bro, you know, I read somebody saying that um <laughs> this was so far off the um so far inaccurate. It was really, really inaccurate. But I noticed a lot of things that I'm testing. Let's see, um, do I got anything else down here? Let's see, let's test this. This feels a little bit colder. Let's see. Okay, that one is 68. 68. I don't know. It seems pretty useful. Now, it would be more useful if you can um, scan somebody's forehead and see if they got the Rona. You know what I'm saying? Our shoes are showing 75 right by her dome. 
77. It seems pretty accurate. And keep in mind, you can also change um, different materials, If I think, if you want to get it more accurate. But this seems like a fun, cool little conversation starter. And depending on what kind of work you do, this could be very useful. I could be very useful, but... The, the thing I like about it is just, it's just a conversation starter. Oh, can your phone do this? Nope. Mine can. 68, 68. Look at that. Seems pretty legit to me. All right, so this is just a fun, cool little feature. And I appreciate Google taking a chance and adding something like this. Next, I want to see maybe night vision camera. All right, y'all seen the other phones I did with the night vision cameras, IR blasters. Let's get some more features like this. Okay, this is pretty dope though. Now let's do the RDA test. Regular daily activities. Now you just spent anywhere between 1,000 and 1,400 bucks on a Google Pixel 8 Pro. Let's see how it works in the real world. Now keep in mind, this phone has wireless charge and reverse wireless charge. So you might as well get yourself a nice wireless charger. This way when you go to sleep, you have the phone on the table just like this. So when I wake up, I can glance over, I see the time, the date, the weather, and my notifications. Now if you don't use that, you can just have it flat on your table. When you wake up, just pick up the phone and look at it. Bang, pops right open. All right, so we see the weather right here. Let's click on that. Let's check the uh, forecast. Okay, 62 degrees for Monday. Looks like a nice sunny day. I'm catching a flight in a few hours. Got to keep it moving. All right, let's go to Google. All right, let's get a fresh refresh and see what's going down. Okay. Hyper OS, that's Xiaomi's new, uh, they're getting rid of the name MIUI, I'm, I'm so glad. We got Hyper OS, five things Xiaomi should fix with this new Android skin. All right, we're gonna go ahead and like that because I'm gonna come back to that later. Okay, the best wireless gaming headset microphones, okay. Oh, quick side note, bro, I was using the DJI mics on the PlayStation 5, that's the new wave. I'll talk about that in, in another video, but that's the new wave right there. Okay, how to back up your Pixel Watch? Easy, back it up, put it in a box, throw that shit away. That's how you back it up. <laughs> Let's see, portable Bluetooth speakers from Bose. Oh, I, I reviewed that already, that was pretty dope. Let's see, Robocop Rogue, City Nintendo Switch. Nintendo Switch, man, I don't, that, I don't know how I feel about that. Teaching Aki's VA Street Fighter, okay, I haven't even tried Aki yet. God of War 2, Unre Unreal Engine 5, that's gonna look sick. Okay, who's watching Gen V? Gen V is the show. Now, I like the boys a little bit better. I think the boys is a little bit more savage. Uh, it's a lot more gruesome, but uh, Gen V is right there. Uh, Gen V is right there. I love that show. Okay, escort. Oh, let me show y'all something real quick. All right, hold on, hold on. So somebody try to call me out on this shit. Let me show y'all something, all right? You see the escort, red line? These are the radar detectors that I use. So somebody was like, oh, why you got the Escort app on your phone? Oh, oh. It's, it's Escort. It's not that kind of Escort, okay? <laughs> I got that somewhere else. This is the Escort radar app, all right? You fucking banana heads. All right, let's keep it moving. All right, let's see. Uh, Eagles versus the Dolphins. I have to go with the Eagles on that one. All right. Okay. Now, Robo, Robocop Rogue City. Now, if it comes off of PlayStation 5, that's a whole other story. I haven't, uh, I've, I haven't kept up with the sports scores yet. I'm going to save that for my flight. Oh, look at this. We got the MK1 raid and announcer voice. Get out of here. We got the raid and announcer voice. Now, if you want to click on something. Empress Melina. Oh, I need that. Anya. I need that. Rain. Okay, I need that. Anyway, why did I say that like five times? I don't know. Okay, the Rogue, Rogue Alley. All right, I got to bring that with me tomorrow on my trip. Five best wireless headphones under 100 bucks. Okay. Anyway, so here's how your Google homepage is going to look. Let's see anything else interesting. The UAG Monarch, okay, I respect it. One of my favorite cases. All right, anything new here? Ultra thin pocket flashlight, okay. All right, so that's how your Google homepage is gonna look. Now again, I wish I would've had my Google bar at the top, I'm so used to going like that, but it is what it is. Android 14, all of the latest Android 14 features, okay. If I wanna do my emails, I flow straight to emails, okay, and this is how I do when I'm reading my emails, I'll be like, oh, word? Oh, they want me to join this shit, okay. No thanks, send, get to the next email. You know what I'm saying? This is how I do my emails. All right, so that's how you're gonna do your email segment of the day. And again, the speech to text, flawless, flawless. All right, so let's exit out of that. Next, let's take it over to some social media. Let's take it over to Facebook first. Okay, let's see what's going down. My homegirl Angie right here. Now, Soundcore got a new speaker, 40 watt sound. Okay, powerful 40 watt sound. Okay, let's go ahead and check that one out. 
Okay, Nike getting ready to have some surgeries. I hope everybody good. The cast of Heat, 1995. Okay, De Niro, where's Pacino at? I don't know. They, they, they left out my man Pacino. All right, Soundbox. I got that. The Soundbox, I got that video coming this week. It's going to blow y'all away. I'm trying to get I'm trying to get my jackets up like this. Yo, this is my kind of jacket right here. Yo. This is my kind of job. Look, look, yeah, y'all think I'm joking. Hold on. Let me show you something. Hold on. Let me show you something. Watch this. Watch this. Hold up. Hold up. Watch this. Hold up. <laughs> I know. I know. Because y'all need to see this shit. Y'all yeah. need to see this shit. If y'all think I'm y'all y'all think I'm joking, yet? Yeah? Hold on. Watch this. Watch this. Hold on. Ah, okay, I'm, okay, I'm trying to do this with one hand. Hold on. Watch this. Hold on. Look, look at this. You see that jacket right there? Y'all think I'm joking? This is the kind of jackets that I'll be rocking. You know what I'm saying? I'll be rocking these kind of jackets like this all day. Look at look at this. Look at look at look at look at this. Look at this dude here. Who the fuck this dude think he is? But I jackets like this, I, I might cop one of these, but I like to get mine's custom made, though. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm a fat. Uh, who that? Steph Curry? Uh, that, that, look, look, light skinned dude, Joe. Look at the light skinned dudes right here. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, look, for y'all don't know, black people, black people, especially for black men, we got beef between light-skinned and dark-skinned men. It's not real beef, but if you see a dude acting emotional, it's probably a light-skinned dude. If you see a hardcore, rugged dude doing some cool shit, he's probably dark-skinned, yeah. That's just how it goes, yeah. <laughs> All my light-skinned dudes, you get emotional in the comments, yeah. <laughs> Leave something emotional, y'all. I know you light-skinned. <laughs> I'm kidding. All right, anyway. Oh, yeah, um, Rip Susan Summers, yeah. I, my girl's favorite show is Three's Company, yo. I like that show, too. Okay, Pixel, let's see. Pixel got some new cases. Now, the mouse cases. I Oh, I do got some mouse cases. Oh, I left them upstairs. All right, I, I'll grab them and make a quick separate video. I could have added them into this video, but it is what it is. I got some mouse cases for the Pixel. We'll check them out. All right, let's see what else. All right, so here's how your Facebook is going to look. Again, if I want to, I could do split screen. I could be in my emails or some other stuff at the same time. I can be on YouTube, all right, watching some videos while I'm on Facebook at the same time. And of course, if I exit out, I'm gonna get the picture in picture. Okay, it works flawlessly. Okay, so that was Facebook. Next, let's try a little Twitter. Now, I haven't been on Twitter in a minute. Let's let's see what's going down. Okay, hey Flawless, in your opinion right now, should I upgrade to the Pixel 8 Pro or wait to the S24 Ultra? That's a great question. Personally, I would, I, it's, it's, I mean, it's not even an option for me. I'm going with Galaxy. Come on. I need, I need the customizations. I need the Bluetooth S Pen. I need Samsung Dex. I need, I just need more. I need more from my, from my personal flagship phone. I would upgrade. All right. So Tyler, when you watch this video, this is for you. That, that answers your question. All right. Slam Boy Certify. What we got here? All right. What, all right, what we got here? All right. I don't even, what's going on with this conversation? I don't even know. All right. Let's see. Um, Oh my lord, these Techniques AZ80s are insane. And maybe it's possible because it's coming from my ear pop up. Alright, so shout out to somebody. See, people, people, y'all gotta believe me when I be talking. Y'all, some of y'all think I just be out here trying to make commercials, I right, doing bad ads. I look, when I told y'all the techniques are the truth, somebody got them, and I told y'all AirPod Pros are trash. When you, look, AirPod Pros are not trash. All right, let me say it correctly. They're okay until you hear some real earbuds. When you hear real earbuds, it's gonna make your AirPods sound like trash. Okay, let's see. MKBHD, your average consumer, floor scorer, will a OnePlus open run Google Play Store or will you have to sideload everything? No, it runs Google Play Store. You don't have to sideload any, anything. I'll just go ahead and answer that right now. It runs everything. Watch this. Hold up. Let's do that. It runs everything. This is what I like about this phone. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to keep checking the the the, the punctuation and all that checking up. No, everything's gonna work. All right, I'm looking to get the get a fold. This might be my choice. The pixel. Right, that's the one. That's the OnePlus open. Okay, I was waiting. Okay, I was I was 15 minutes away from getting a 15 Pro Max uh, to try the other side until Flossy Carter released this movie. What movie was that? Oh, the OnePlus. I right, now would you would I take the OnePlus Open over an iPhone 15 Pro Max? No, probably not. Probably not. I mean, because foldable devices for me they're very niche or niche. <laughs> I, 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 somebody, one of y'all fucking banana heads got me so confused. Now, what is it? Niche or niche? It's more of a niche product. Or niche product. All right. <laughs> I, I don't know. All right, let's see. Okay, okay. So we got this. How you, um, look. Oh, hold on. Let's see. Made it into a Floss Carter video. All right. All right, look. So somebody made it into a Flossy Carter video. Look, you just made it again, God damn it. All right, let's see. Um, all right, let's see. We need more videos with earbuds. Okay, I got you, bro. I got you. 
Hey, Floss, how many cases you have total, or do you return them? No, I just keep them. I, well, the fuck, I'm returning them for you. No, I just keep them, yeah. I keep them and use them as ashtrays, bro. All right, let's see anything else we got. All right, I wanted to get a Pixel Fold or the Galaxy 5. Or the Galaxy Fold 5. Definitely go with the Galaxy over the Pixel Fold. I'm sorry, Google, but the Pixel Fold is trash. All right, anyway, here's how your um, Twitter's going to look. Let me stop acting like I ain't got to catch a flight. Let's keep it moving. All right, so that's Twitter. What's next? What we got on deck? Uh, let's go to TikTok. Okay, for TikTok, we got to hit the volume. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. He got the beard for protection. Ooh! Ooh! Whoa! Whoa! But he's still standing up. Now, he hit him on the beard. He got the beard for protection, yeah. He almost he almost lost it for a minute. Yeah. Wow. And the little smile afterwards? Okay. Now, let's see. The, are they going to show his turn? Okay, now I don't think they're going to show the payback. They're not going to pay, show the payback slap? Okay, they're just gonna keep replaying it. But that 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 show right there, man. You know, remember back in the days you tell somebody, yo, man, I'll slap the shit out of you. Show them this, yeah. <laughs> when somebody say I'm about to slap the shit out of you, this is what they mean, yeah. Because depending on where that slap connects, fecal matter could slip out of you. <laughs> I, I've seen it happen. I've seen fecal matter slapped out of somebody before, yo. Trust me. Yeah. It's not <laughs> back in the days I used to be like, yo, why do people keep saying that? Until you actually see it. <laughs> Okay, well, well, hold on. Why you look? Why you looking? Oh, okay. They're getting ready to get it popping. If a fight starts like this, this is the kind of fight you want to watch. That's the kind of fight you want to watch. All right, she got a Galaxy S24, uh, X23. Okay, you look. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh my! Oh, hold up. Hold up. Is he? D hold up. Hold up. Mm. I can I can I I could not be in the crowd for one of these events, bro. I'm losing my shit there. Oh, y'all seen this? Yo, these dudes try to kick the door open, and my man came. My man started blasting through the door. This is what I'm saying. This is educational videos, right? You gotta watch out. And they had the nerve to be talking about sheriff office, police. This is why you need a ring camera, number one. Okay, because you could clearly see that ain't the cops. The cops don't do that. All right, the cops got door breaking mechanisms. They're not gonna be doing all that. Okay, number one, they're not going to be wearing blue gloves. You got to blast. That's what I'm saying. You need a ring camera, and you need one of them things uh, at close range at all times, yo. And look, I know in New York City it's illegal, but hey, you want some shit like this? People know it's illegal. That's why they're doing shit like this, yo. And that's why you got to be circumventing the law. Yo. <laughs> so you got to circumvent the law, bro. The law ain't going to save your ass, yo. You got to save your own ass, yo. All right, look at this. Full cleanup. Remember back in the Who did this back in the days? I, I definitely did that. I definitely did that. All right, what's going on here? <laughs> what's going on here? What, what, what we doing here? What we doing here? Okay. What we doing? See what I'm saying? The TikTok is all about the short... For oh, okay. They uh, are one of these kind of games. Okay. Let's see. Trump just say the truth that nobody want to say. All right. <laughs> I don't even want to play this because I, I'll be trying to stay apolitical. All right. I'll be trying not to get involved in the politics because I'm not qualified to be talking about certain things. Let me address that real quick. Too. Everybody keeps saying, yo, what's your stance on Israel and Gaza? I'm not qualified to talk about Israel and Gaza. I've never been to Israel. Israel. I've never been to Gaza. OK, I'm not qualified to give an opinion on that. OK, now I do feel sorry for everybody, who, the innocent people who's losing their lives on both sides, but I'm not qualified to give my opinion. Now, as far as the president of the United States, I'm qualified to talk about that. Because I pay taxes and I vote. So I'm qualified. If y'all want to have that discussion, that's something else. But as far as all of the geopolitical stuff, go to CNN. All right. Go to uh, MSNBC. Go to Fox News. Go to wherever you get your fake news from. And they're going to deliver it better than I could. Now, what is this? AI? Okay. Some AI. Israel martial arts AI. Okay. They be doing that craft, my guy. That's one thing, though, I will say. I had an um, a, a Israeli friend back in the days. And he used to be do doing the craft, my guy. All right. Yeah, I'll tell y'all a quick funny story, right? All right. He was a real, like, you know, in Israel, you, you 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 don't have a choice. You have to join the military. You have to do your time in the military. Okay, cool. So he did his time, and he was like, yo, um, he, he was an expert in Kraft Maga. He used to be like, yo, Kraft Maga, I could fuck anybody up, da-da-da, right? Actually, this is how we became friends, but he was a friend of a friend of mine's. And I'm, I'm sitting on the side. I'm like, that Kraft Maga shit is all, you know, fine and dandy, but somebody put you in the headlock, you done, yo. And he was like, nah, my friend, I can get out of anything. I'm like, all right, you sure? 
and they, everybody was hyping him up like, yo, do it, do it. So I put him in the quick sleeper hold. Why, why this guy passed out? Yo, I put the dude to sleep real quick. I didn't even, I wasn't even an official sleeper hold, but I put him to sleep real quick. I felt bad when he came up, when he woke up. I was like, yo, teach me that Kraft Magashi, trying to make him feel better. Like, teach me that Kraft Magashi, because it looked cute. But in my mind, I was like, <laughs> I was like, I don't know karate, but I know crazy. All right, that's old school. That's a dad joke right there. Okay, now, look, like, see what I'm saying? Military actions going on like this, this you know, make you want to join the military. I look at my man Tight Shirt Terry. All right, shout out to my man Tight Shirt Terry, the tightest, tightest shirts of the game. All right, so here's how you, uh, <laughs> I know, I'll be rambling. Here's how you, t oh, this AI. I thought this was a real crib. I found out it's AI, but that would be sick. That would be sick. All right, so here's how your TikTok is going to look. What's this? What phone is this? There's got to be some Oppo, some Oppo type shit. All right, because I'm saying, you see what I'm saying? These, these Chinese manufacturers, they pushing the boundaries. And every year, we keep getting bullshit like this in the USA. I don't like that. I don't like that. Oh, look, you see? Oh, she got a little heart right there because she, she was about to deliver the beats. And she said, nah, she good. She good. She good. She was about to deliver. She was about to deliver a hammer strike and was like, nah, she good. I respect that. I respect that. I like these little pranks like this. <laughs> little pranks. Anyway, all right, so that's how your TikTok is gonna look. Let's do one more. Let's take it over to Instagram. All right, let's see what's going down on the gram. All right, Dwayne the Rock Johnson responds to jokes about his wax figure in Paris. Why wow, it look funny? Oh, it do look a little off. <laughs> it do look a little off. Okay. Shout out to my man Max. He out in Africa right now. I, he, he, Max be doing his thing. I, this is where I get get all my jewelry for, jewelry from. Tracks NYC. This is my dude. He be out in Africa giving back to the community. I respect it though. <laughs> Let's see. Um, death penalty for child grape. I, if you if you graping a kid, you getting the death penalty in Florida. That's um. I'm not a big Ronda Saint Ronda Saintimonious fan, but you gotta respect that. Leave the kids alone. All right, shout out to Ron DeSantis. I ain't mad at him. Did y'all say DeSantos or DeSantis? <laughs> shout out to my man Donald Trump. He got me saying Ron DeSanctimonious, bro. One thing about Trump, he gonna give you a name, yo. I would hate to have beef with Trump. He'd be calling me fat back floss or some shit, yo. He'd be like, yo, floss, I got, that dude got a fat back, yo, or big back. They'd be like, that dude got a big back. Let's call him big back floss. Who this? Um, some bullshit Eagle fans. All right, let me show. All right, now, Calvin. If you get in the pixel, you can zoom in. <laughs> All right. Okay. Nice little. <laughs> All right, let's see what's going down. Anyway, let's keep it moving. Oh, look at this shot. Look at this. Um, this this the oh, that was the that was the ultimate distraction shot. Bong. Wow, he, 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 this dude been playing been playing dodgeball since kindergarten, yo. I right? you don't you you don't just wake up and get a shot like that. Nah. You gotta train for that, yo. All right, let's see, white line certified. Let's see anybody who, let's see who get white line today. All right, we'll keep it moving. I'm gonna get to speed this up. Let's see if we see anything else. All right. Oh man, got got stuck on a ride. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's see, pranking soda customer that soda machine was wireless. I seen this. Yo, this dude, um, y'all remember he's, I forgot, is this um, Carbonara? That show, the Carbonara effect, remember this dude? He, he he is he is slick with it, but he made he made people think that the soda machine was wireless. <laughs> Look at this! Imagine a wireless soda machine like this. I don't know how I would react in real life. I would have to be like, nah, yo, hold up, because you know I'm, I'm a tech guy. I have to be like, nah, bro, how you? Nah, let me try it. I right, don't show it to me. Let me try it. But tight shirt Terry all over the place, man. Damn it! Yeah. I go five minutes without seeing this tight ass shirt. All right, let's see. Okay, all right. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Oh, Doug for two out of jail? Yeah, okay. All right. Look, look, look. You know, I'm about to be doing this in Florida. I mean, in Hawaii in a couple of minutes. All right, it is what it is. All right, let's keep it moving. All right, let's see what's going down. All right, TikTok. Oh, okay. What, what was that? What was that? Hold up. What happened just now? That was a, a glitch? That was a little glitch? Whoa. Oh, okay. <laughs> now, we watched this fight last time. I ain't going to make y'all sit. What the fuck, man? Damn, Terry. And then, like, look, all jokes aside, Terry's my guy. Yeah. Terry's my guy. Look, that, that shirt got a little bit of space on it. Because normally he having some tight shit on you. Yeah. All right, so he finally, he finally stopped shopping at the baby gap. Yeah. All right, it is what it is. All right, what's going on here? What's going on here? All right, anyway, so this is how your Instagram is going to look. I'm already kind of in too deep in the video now. I must see what's um, the final result. Okay, waist trainers. Yeah. All right, let's exit. Anyway. 
RDA, regular daily activities. This is a powerful phone. Let's put it like that. I did, you look, I don't want to get too crazy as far as with the spec numbers and all of that, but for day-to-day -day stuff, the stuff that y'all see me doing just now, maybe you want to take it over to Amazon. Let's do that real quick. Let's go to Amazon. Take it over to Amazon. All right, let's do a little shopping. I mean, for the stuff that you're going to use this phone for, you're not going to have any problems. Click on something real quick. All right. Well, remember, I just said get a ring doorbell. Let's see how much these going for right now. All right. You get a refurbished one for a buck. All right. You shouldn't have no crib right now without a ring doorbell on it. Okay. Not, not that they only a hundred bucks. Yeah. Do a little shopping. If I want to, I can share this page. You know what I'm saying? I can do screenshots and all that. Screenshot. Bong, just like that. Share it to somebody else. Take it back. <laughs> Take it back to Instagram, you know what I'm saying? All right, let's, I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. RDA, regular daily activities. This phone is going to pass with flying colors. Now, there's a couple of things that uh, let me say that one more time. One more thing I wanted to talk about accessories. Now, I just did the Spigen, the camera lens protector. One side note, I, somebody pointed that out to me today and I had to test it out, and I promised them I was going to address it in this video. If you buy the Spigen, the uh, camera lens protector, you can't use your thermostat anymore. It's not going to give you the correct readings. All right, so if you if you heavy into the, the thermostat or thermometer, whatever you want to call it, you're going to have to take that off because you notice I took mine off. I left it on the 8 because the 8 doesn't have that feature. But on the 8 Pro, you're going to have to take that off. Now, one of my favorite accessories is this right here. All right, from Spigen, the magnetic ring. This adds MagSafe. Okay, this adds MagSafe right to the back of your phone. Now, this is one of my favorite MagSafe accessories. You see this this little ring thing? You know, those socket rings? I don't even, you see, like this? I don't even pull this out. I just put this on my phone and use it as a phone spinner. So I, I just like chilling chillin and play with my phone like that. But the point is, you got MagSafe now on the back, and it's a super strong magnet. If you use a wallet, now you can put a wallet on it. This is my kickstand wallet. Okay. Oh, <laughs> and it just peeled right off. Okay. Let me just put that back on. Hold up. You see, the reason it peeled off too is because I actually took it off. I took it off. Let me put it back on. I took it off. <laughs> I actually took it off and put it back. Let me put it back on correctly. Yeah, like that. Let's see. And that's one thing I like about it too. Like You can actually move it around. Let's see. I'm going to do it correctly though. Yeah, like that. Bang, yeah, get it like that. So if you take it off and put it back on, right, all you got to do is get a case and put the case on it and then let it set again, okay? But th the first time you get it, you might put it up too high and then you notice that the MagSafe charging ain't working. So I want to show y'all something too real quick. So if you get a MagSafe charger like this, let's see, this one has any juice. Let's see, you see, now we're getting charged. So you want to make sure that you have the right accessory, but... I would play with it first before you unstick it. Okay, now I got a bunch of these, so I don't really care, but <laughs> once you stick it on, it's gonna be hard to peel off. Once you peel it off, then it'll come on and off easy. Now, it doesn't really work through a case. It doesn't really work through a case. Like, it does, but it's not a strong magnet. But the good thing about that is if you have a wireless charger with MagSafe, when you lay it flat on it, because that's what I got in my office, then it's gonna work. Now, as far as accessories, I will show y'all some mouse cases. I got some uh, UAG cases coming in. I got a few accessories. So let's kind of wrap this video up with one last thing. Let's talk about, hold up, I gotta get the, I gotta get the, the props for this one. Somebody asked me to bring this part of the video back, the floss factor. All right, let's talk about the floss factor. What is the floss factor? That means, we'll use this one without the ring. You got yourself a brand new Google Pixel 8 Pro. You go out, you hanging out with your friends. Your homeboy got a nice Oppo. Uh, he's part of the Oppo regime, okay? Maybe one of your friends is down with the Xiaomi Warlords, okay? You know, you got the, uh, you know, you representing the Google gangsters, of course. Let's see who else we got. One of your homeboys is down with the Apple Mafia, you know, the peasant, peasant squad, okay? You got the Vivo Triads, okay? You got the Asus Samurais, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you got the Ana Yakuza, you know what I'm saying? You got all of these gangs on the table. Where do you fit in on the food chain? Maybe you got some of the Sony Samurais, okay? 
You got the Samsung Knights. Yeah, I can't forget about the Samsung Knights. Where do you fit in on the food chain? All right, because this is a big food chain, right? This is what this, this is all this phone game is a big food chain. You got your Google. Are right, you part of the Google gangsters? Where do you fit in on the food chain? I would say you're at the top. Now, you're not you're not an apex predator because a lot of these phones got stuff that this phone doesn't have, but at least you at the table. All right, you can sit at the table comfortably. All right, you ain't got to sit at the kitty table. You got the thermometer, the thermostat. Nobody got that on none of these phones. You got the best AI. You got the supreme build quality. You got silk panties in your pocket all day and night, okay? You know, I would say... The galaxy is still the dinosaur, the apex predator, the, the, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Xiaomi's right there too. Apple, Apple is up there in its, in its own way. But you at the table, all right? you, you at the table, you got nothing to feel, uh, feel any kind of way. You could sit down with all of these gangsters right here and uh, talk your shit. All right? when, when black people say talk your shit, that means, that means um, enjoy your life. <laughs> that means represent. I got, I, 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 sometimes I say things and I just assume that everybody knows, but if a black person says, yo, talk your shit, that means like, that means yo, like yo, feel yourself. Like if, you know, sometimes, cause a lot of us, a lot of us, you don't like to give yourself accolades. You don't like to be like, yo, I'm the best. You know, you might say that in the mirror. You go in the mirror and be like, yo, I'm the best. Nobody can't fuck with me. But, you know, you don't like to say that out loud. You want to be a little bit modest. You want to be a little bit humble. But when a black person says, yo, bro, talk your shit, that means, yeah, you know what? I am the best. Yeah, nobody can't fuck with me. And if another black person is talking like that and one of his friends is right there, he's going to be like, yo, bro, talk your shit, yo, talk your shit. That means get it off your chest, yo, all right? So if you got the Pixel 8 Pro, you can talk your shit when you're hanging out with these dudes right here, you ain't gonna have a problem. First of all, you got Android 14 before everybody else, all right, forget, except for these Apple peasants, they don't know nothing about that. But everybody else, you're gonna have Android 14 first, you got the longest guaranteed security updates, you got the most AI, again, build quality, point and shoot camera, you right up there on the top. The only thing is, you don't have the innovation from Asus or the battery life. You definitely don't have as many customization and features as the Galaxy, your face unlock, can't compare with Xiaomi and Oppo and Vivo, okay? This Sony phone right here, I mean, yeah, I'll take this pixel over to Sony any day. <laughs> the Sony phone, I mean, there's an argument to be made about the camera and all of that, but as far as the floss factor, ain't really too much going on with Sony. It's like some little bullshit candy bar phone. It is what it is. Anyway, now I'm going to wrap this video up. All right, so overall, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm giving the Google Pixel 8 Pro a major, major, major go is this phone going to be in my rotation the answer is yes i always use a pixel as my work phone and this is my favorite pixel to date as far as the display build quality all of the ai features the speakers i love it okay i love it it does have some shortcomings but if you buy this phone are you going to like it without a doubt one quick side note too there's a lot of specials going on right now so if you do have an older phone trade it in and remember upgrade your life okay stop walking around with these old peasant phones from three years ago okay upgrade your life have a little fun now i tried to make this video a little bit shorter all right and i i told myself i was going to start making shorter videos but i mentioned this in one of my other videos and a lot of people was like nah we like the longer videos they help me get through the day and in some ways, I do appreciate that because I remember I used to watch YouTube videos at work all day long. And when one of my favorite YouTube videos come out, uh, YouTube favorite favorite YouTube creators come out and make a long video, like my man Walls, very unknown YouTuber, but does the TCAP commentary. And you know that video is about an hour long or an hour and a half long. You know, that, that helps me get through the day. So if these long videos is helping you get through your work day, I appreciate that and you want me to keep making them I'm gonna keep making them but I can't make every video this long I don't want to just be rambling talking mad shit but when it comes to these uh, phone reviews I like to take my time and make them even though I'm kind of in a rush right now but I do like to show you and talk about as many things as I can because look man at the end of the day a thousand dollars that's not pocket change okay and i spent a thousand dollars on this too so i want to see as much as i can i want as many different opinions show me some other phones what phone does this better what phone does that better and um that's how i'm gonna rock it so yes i'm gonna keep the long videos <laughs> and not to mention like like i said i ain't really got too many friends so i get to talk to y'all through my youtube videos anyway next week we got we got a bunch of phones coming up. We got the new Redmi phone. We got Samsung. Got the um, Galaxy S23 FE. Somebody asked me to do the Harry Potter phone. I mean, that phone is a little bit old, but I will do it. 
All right, just because somebody asked me to do it. So I got a Harry Potter phone coming in too. Anyway, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus. Shout out to all the Google Gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Voxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time. 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know. Stream Gangsters on deck. Get the drinks ready. No meat was left. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat, Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad, I see y'all in the comment section early, hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing, I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes. It should be rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Spot one to beam up. Energize. Jerry Springer here. Uh, subscribe to Flossie Carter for the real reviews. Uh, he has a tech channel on YouTube, and he already has over 2 million subscribers. So uh, give him a look. Uh, you may like it, and it could be very useful. Take care of yourself and each other.